Science is allowing us to look at dinosaurs in a whole different way. We know now what coloration they could have had. We know a lot more about the way they were related to each other. Every year, so many new species get discovered and described. So there is a huge amount of work to be depicted in illustration right now. Many times I finished an illustration and I said, wow, this animal is amazing. The, the rush of creating something that looks so bizarre and it fuels your imagination. My name is Gabriel Ugueto and I am a paleo artist and scientific illustrator. Paleo art is the artistic representation of animals that are not alive today. So as a paleo artist, I end up illustrating dinosaurs, of course, extinct mammals, also marine reptiles, basically anything that was alive a long, long time ago. Paleo art works as a way to showcase the current evidence from paleontologists, from people that study any other extinct animal behavior. So for me, accuracy, based on what we know, is one of the most important things I can showcase in my work. Growing in Venezuela, you are exposed to a lot of, you know, different animals. I was obsessed with a field guide of birds of Venezuela. That was a big inspiration of me, and I used to look at it and say, one day I'm going to do a guide, but of reptiles and amphibians, which was my main love. I worked for a long time as a herpetologist, but I studied graphic design and illustration, and uh, that's what I felt I needed to be. So nowadays I work in books, in scientific journals, online, in museums, TV documentaries. When I get an assignment, you start with the bones and then work outward from that. And then I put in skin, color, based on the, where the animal lived, at what period in time, and suggested habits of the animal. I mean, they definitely have to have a, a detailed knowledge of how muscles attached to different bones. So it's very important to be very familiar with anatomy of modern day animals. We know that birds are dinosaurs, so they probably share a lot of things in common. And a lot of the ways they move and they look at the world is probably similar, but the adding feathers to dinosaurs is still um, controversial for some people, I don't know why. People that really want their dinosaurs to look like the ones in Jurassic Park, but, I mean, we have now tons of dinosaurs that in the fossils are completely covered in feathers. And I mean from head to toe. I think for a long time, paleo art suffered from skin wrapping everything. We didn't give any room for fat deposits, muscles. A lot of people have liked my reconstructions of plesiosaurs because I've made it really chunky and I've also made them scaly. And the reason why I've done that was that they discovered this small plesiosaur and it had skin impressions which show tiny scales and very big fat deposits, which makes sense for an animal that is marine because think about whales and seals. Sometimes there are aspects about animals that surprise you. You know, we grew up knowing about tyrannosaurs and everybody knows how small their arms are. But I guess that when you see something like Carnotaurus, which, which has like really weird, even smaller than T-Rex arms, you're like, wow, this is, uh, this is really weird, but it was the way it was. Everybody's depicting dinosaurs from the Jurassic and the Cretaceous, but the Jurassic is a lot of fun for a paleo artist. There's nothing that looks like a drapanosaur, there's nothing that looked like a, a topodentatus, there's nothing that looked like longisquama. It's sometimes it's, they're so bizarre looking that you have to be careful that you are depicting them in a way that makes sense. Realism is very difficult because we don't know exactly what these animals look like. This is all suggestions and, and interpretations and uh, we do what we can with the evidence that we have so far. So what's lost when you depict an animal inaccurately is their sense of, of being alive. When I look at a, a, a Tyrannosaur with filaments and all this scarring in their heads, all these crests that we know they had in keratinous crests, they look so much more real, so much more plausible as, a, as an animal alive than a 
monster from a, from a movie.